Fight for Love, that is a song that is just sort of about like breaking out of yourself and breaking out of your uh, crap that's like keeping you from, from living. And uh, whether it's in a relationship or whether it's, uh, you know, just you and yourself, it's a, it's a song we wrote and recorded sort of in the chaos of last year's election and just like feeling overwhelmed and wanting to like throw some good out there, you know, and hopefully that's what it feels like. What makes the sun go down? What makes the world spin around? It's time we can't have bad. We need the most. How can I stop you in your tracks? This train's moving way too fast. Slow down, baby.
asleep, heart is on her sleep, waiting on a call that never comes through. Everyone's got their own set of troubles, everyone's got their own set of blues, everyone's got their own set of struggles. Walk a mile in another man. Another mile. If you ain't learned that by now, go ahead, walk another mile. If you ain't learned that by now, go ahead, walk another mile. If you ain't learned that by now, go ahead, walk another mile. Everyone's got their own set of troubles. Everyone's got their own set of blues. Everyone's their own set of struggles walk a mile in another man walk a mile in another man walk a mile in another man New Year is a song I wrote. We have a New Year's Eve party every year, and I looked around a couple, a couple years ago at my friends, and they were in our house, and thinking about all of the different crap that people walk through in their lives. Uh, heartbreak, divorce, uh, sickness, you know, a, friends that, a friend that got cancer, a friend that lost a child, a friend that went through a terrible divorce. And yet we're all out there like having a great time and it's a very authentic joy and a great time. But there's this heaviness of like a new year coming. And so I wrote that song thinking about that and the, and the song sort of grew into this this sort of uh, uh, chant almost of like uh, sort of looking back and looking forward and always sort of being confused about which direction is the right direction. and and and. Uh, I'm proud of that song as well. I, uh, it's been fun to sort of reimagine it live because it's it's uh, it's definitely a, very much a studio creation that song. And so live, it's been it's been good. We've kind of expanded it and had this very kind of thoughtful guitar solo at the end, and the band really uh, has come to life on that one. I've been looking forward to this night for a long time for a couple reasons. One, I love playing in Boston. Two, I wanted to play in this particular room for years because it's such an amazing legacy of people who have been playing here over the years. A lot of my heroes have stood on this stage, and anytime you get to do that, it sort of uh, has a little gravity to it, and so I'm uh, not lost on me and the band up here tonight. And then thirdly, man, I love having Joe Purdy play some songs with us. And if, if you don't like what he's doing, you got it all wrong. He's awesome, and uh, really, really honored he, he came out with us this week. We have a brand new record out called Souvenir. And this is a song off that record called New Year. Side conversations, bourbon on our bread, laughter in the kitchen, children make a mess. From the front porch to the backyard, the tragedy in between. It's a new year, it's a new song, it 
it's the same mystery. We talk about your brother, stories left unheard. You share blood, but you don't share words. The same room on holidays, no apologies. It's a new year, it's a new song. It's the same mystery In the cool of October We feel the sorrow of St. Jude Void between strangers As the clock quickly moves It's a long way from paradise A long way from Eden's tree It's a new year, it's a new song Six years, time is like a ghost Lost in my mind again Suddenly I'm alone That loneliness, it comes and goes it Speaks harsh words to me It's a new year, it's a new song It's the same mystery neighborhood and I have nothing left to say life and death it never rests and I've still got bills to pay on earth as it is in heaven it don't make sense to me it's a new year it's a new song it's the same mystery it's a new year it's a new song Live Forever is the song that sort of gave gave us a shot. We were been making music and touring for four or five years and it was sort of felt like it was going nowhere and at some point you kind of look in the mirror and go, well, maybe this is not going to happen and that's okay. We worked hard at it. This, this thing's outside of our control and uh, I wrote that song in like 12 minutes because my sister told me they were, she and her kids were leaving Nashville to move to Central America and I was just sort of torn up about it didn't have kids of my own yet and I wrote that song for my nieces and nephews just as sort of a, a mournful uh, goodbye but also a wish you well you know uh, um, and all of a sudden we released it and like 
people started coming out of the woodwork and TV shows started using it. And it's the, really the first song I'd written in a long time at that point that came out of a completely uh, total heart space. And no thoughts about career or commerce, any of that. It's just like, I want to write a song for my nieces and nephews. And it's amazing when you do that, how sometimes like letting go of the career and everything and focusing on making something beautiful can be the thing that actually gives you a career. So the irony is so rich with that song for me every night. I'm very, I have a grateful spirit kind of any time I, I get to play that song because it's the one that, it's the girl that brought us here. You know? Laughter is the only thing that'll keep you sane In this world that's crying more and more every day Don't let evil get you down In this madness spinning around and round I want you to live forever underneath the sky so blue. a childish game play on children like it's Christmas day sing me a song sing me a melody sing out loud you're a symphony
Mama Sunshine, Daddy's Rain is just like a fun sort of country New Orleansy song about my daughter, and she's four and she's a mess, and she's great. And Mama Sunshine, my wife is like the super gregarious, fun, you know, life of the party personality, and I'm sort of the stoic, you know, hard to make you laugh, but you know, still extroverted sort of personality and. She's got a little bit of both, you know, it's such a, and it's a song about sort of seeing those two things become this whole other individual and then sort of wishing her luck as she sort of finds her way as she gets older. And that song has just uh, become probably my favorite on the Souvenir record. It's gonna be a good night. I feel it, some nights you feel it, some nights you don't. I'm feeling, feeling real strong, feels good. Getting a lot back from y'all. All right, Boston, Friday night. So I have a very lovely daughter. I have a son as well. He's not lovely, but he's he's amazing. <laughs> lovely is not the right word. He's uh he's all boy. Loves to run into things and make me think he breaks his leg every day, but he doesn't. So I took um my daughter to see her favorite singer and my favorite singer a couple months ago, a great artist named Ellie Holcomb. And uh, yeah yeah. So she was playing this concert and we 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 were there. And we we were sitting in the back row. And uh, Ellie was up on stage telling some story about uh, something, and she said, you know, I don't know, it was three or five years ago, I don't remember, I'm not very good at math. And Emmy Lou looks at me and she goes, Dad, I'm good at math. I said, yes, you are. She said, Dad, you're good at math. I said, you're dang right I am. <laughs> she looked at me, looked at her mother, a look of concern, and she said, We'll teach her. <laughs> yes, we will. This is a song uh, Nathan and I wrote for Amy Lou. It goes like this. You got your mama's sunshine. You got your daddy's rain. You're like a piece of heaven in a hurricane. It's bubbling over like a sweet champagne. You got your mama's sunshine. You got your daddy's rain. You act just like your father. Yeah, you laugh at your own jokes. You're pleased with your opinions, girl. You. Your daddy's rain like a piece of heaven in a hurricane. And it's bubbling over like a sweet champagne. You got your mama's sunshine. You got your daddy's rain. All day long, right or wrong, you question everything. Why the grass is green? Can I stay up late? And why do the bluebirds sing? Sometimes you cry your big blue eyes for no discernible reason. Your point of view, it comes and goes like the changing of the seas. You got your mama's sunshine, you got your daddy's rain. You're like a piece of heaven in a hurricane. It's bubbling over like a sweet champagne. You got your mama's sunshine. a leaf on every single branch of our family tree. When you're all grown up, no longer a pup, you're going out to the great unknown. You'll find that little piece of you that you can call your own. Come on. You got your mama's sunshine. You got your daddy's rain. You're like a piece of heaven. Hurricane. It's bubbling up. 
American Beauty is uh, sort of a song about the one that got away, you know, the the first real love, you know, uh, and that's a song I'm like painting with these little photographs and vignettes, and uh, that's another one that snuck up on me. It's um, I didn't know that it would be so well received, and it's been uh, a really uh, it's been a, it's been a staple for us since it came out. We played every night, and people always just sort of. They love that moment. That's one of those moments, you know, I was talking about earlier where, you know, you kind of quietly get into this song and you never you never rise above too much of a level and then you just let it land in the room sort of you kinda of feel the deep breath and you know, that song has has done that for us and we love playing it. She was a good companion, eyes like the Grand Canyon. She was an American beauty. She was a long goodbye. She was the best I'll ever find. She was an American beauty. With her wayfarers on in the summer sun, her touch felt like a loaded gun. Wish I had held her longer Wish I had held her long Gorgeous vagabond She was sweet but she was strong She was She was deja vu, she was a catch-22, she was an American beauty. Her blue eyes shine in the summer sun, her kiss felt like a loaded gun. Wish I had held her longer, wish I had held her longer. The morning sun, she fired shots from a loaded gun. Wish I had held her longer. Wish I had held her longer. She was a good companion, eyes like the Grand Canyon. You know, when I was a kid, my parents were, you know, just your average music fans. They, my dad liked to listen to Dylan and Otis Redding and, you know, 70s classic rock. And uh, my mom would wake us up in the morning, you know, playing old hymns on the piano. That was our alarm clock. But besides that, there was no, like, official, like, push towards music. So there was never any pressure to be a musician. I asked for a guitar for Christmas when I was in the sixth grade, and my parents obliged and started playing and with a buddy and and for me music was a very much just a sort of a, a casual thing until uh, I lost a brother when I was in high school and music w became sort of my like um, my I don't know my friend in grief you know so I was like the colors got deeper because of music so the things that I was experiencing and the, so the sorrow 
you know, music had a big part of that. So that's kind of what drew me to making music was, you know, listening to artists like uh, David Gray and Van Morrison and, and the way that they sort of put uh, words to, to my feelings as a kid. Saving pages from your magazine Of all the people that you want to be It's okay to be yourself sometimes No one seems to recognize your face Forever changing as you plead your case It's okay to love yourself sometimes All the memories that have put you here Carry on Takes a special kind of souvenir to help you along the way. When you feel there's nothing left to say. All your favorite records have been played It's okay to be alone sometimes All the memories that have put you here Carry on a special kind of souvenir So I got into music sort of through the back door because I wasn't planning. I'm not a kid who dreamed, you know, I didn't see like some band on late night TV when I was a kid and go, I want to do that. You know, I did it for fun and it was just a, a diversion until late in college. And then I, I realized that I, you know, could maybe give it a shot and, and started writing songs that seemed to be connecting with a small group of people. And so, but yeah, as the years go on, you, you tour and, you know, I'm, in, I'm somewhere in like year 14 of touring and I've played, you know, close to 
1800 to 2000 shows or something crazy. Can't even keep up, you know? And, um, there's, uh, people always say, do you love it? And I'm like, yeah, I love making music. I love writing. I love the 90 to 100 and something minutes. We're on stage every night. I love, uh, you know, getting to open for different people and the experience of that. But yeah, as you get older, you're like, uh, you know, you got kids and you got a life at home and like, being in traffic waiting to get to the venue kind of wears you down but um the love of it certainly outweighs the the logistical sort of headaches that go along with making music and so i'm still in it for the long haul as far as i can tell i think now's a good time to introduce the band on the guitar mr nate duggar back there on the keys grant Pittman. On the drums, John Womble. That's everybody. I'm just kidding. Uh, on the bass and also the writer of that song, Mr. Rich Brinsfield. So, so this is our, our second to last show of this tour. Uh, the, the, the last one's in Baltimore tomorrow, but um, we started the tour eight weeks ago and the first weekend we were in the Carolinas. All right, four of you from the Carolinas or that liked the Carolinas or whatever. But we were there and we were in this great, this great town called Asheville and uh, if you haven't been, you should check it out. But the, we, we played the show and then afterwards I was, going to, I was in the dressing room and the security guy came up to me, he's like, hey man, don't go out to your van anytime soon. There's a, there's a guy out there, and I, you know, we, just, we gotta take care of something. So, of course I'm real curious. And so I look, look out the window, peek my head out, see what's going on. There's this guy out there and he's, quite a bit bigger than me, and he's yelling sort of at the building, and he's yelling this, he's like, you didn't play, I like to be with me when I'm with you. <laughs> sort of like a drunk pirate, you know? <laughs> Which he wasn't wrong, that was a factually accurate statement. <laughs> then he says, there's some friends with him, and he's like, you should come out here and play it for me and my friends. I was thinking about it, and then he said something that totally pissed me off. He said, I used to go see you when you were nobody. <laughs> remember that he's yelling at a brick wall. <laughs> but I thought when he said that, I was like, yeah, I remember that too. I was there. We got the backstory, and he was apparently at the, my first show in Asheville, me and six other people and him, and uh, right when this song came out. In 2004. <laughs> I'm very young. So uh, I didn't play it for him, and the police came <laughs> um, so I could get in the van and leave. But um, uh, I did decide maybe I should play it most of the other nights on this tour. <laughs> so here you go. If I had a great big mansion, I'd rather live in a shotgun shack with you. And if I drove a red Ferrari, I would rather ride in an old snowmobile with you. If I won a million dollars. I would give it away to spend more time with you If I had a million lovers I would trade them all for just one night with you With you I can be myself With you I don't have to be somebody else It's like putting on my favorite pair of shoes I like to be with me when I'm with you. If I own the world's finest 
been yours I would rather sit and drink cheap wine here If I could sail across the ocean Where the ocean would just be blue without you I don't have to be somebody else It's like putting on my favorite pair of shoes I like to be with me when I'm with If I could be like Albert Einstein I'd rather just be dumb and be with you and If I could sing like Frank Sinatra I would rather just sit and talk to you With you I can be myself With you I don't have to be somebody else like putting on my favorite pair of shoes I like to be with me When I'm with you If I was an encounter or something, I'm pretty sure I'd still have you know, campfire guitar pulls at my house. You know, I mean, music is a huge part of, I mean, I, I just turned 35 and for my birthday, I bought 10 tickets to go see Tom Petty at Red Rocks in a few weeks and take it to a bunch of buddies. There's still like a deep, uh, you know, connection for me uh, all the way sort of to my core with music. And so I don't think that would go away regardless of what I was doing to make a living. Boston, we have, we have something very special for you tonight. We. Uh, I made a promise on the internet about four months ago that I would play this song tonight, and I just r was reminded of that promise today by my manager. And I told the band about 45 minutes ago, I was like, hey, remember that song we haven't played in like three years? <laughs> We're gonna play it tonight. That's not the one you should have asked four months ago, sorry. <laughs> Somebody else asked for this one. This is my mom's favorite song. It's one of my least favorite songs I've ever written. Not a very good introduction. <laughs> Actually, it's growing. It's growing on me. We we uh, we were singing it up there, getting ready, and I was like, maybe, maybe we should play this some more often. It's, it's very much a Friday night song. Whoever asked for it, you're welcome.
Wild World is a song I wrote. I wrote two songs back to back. The first day I wrote a song about the election that was uh, an angry, sort of divisive moment. And um, I went back the next day and re-listened to the demo of it and just thought, man, this is like, this is fuel on the fire. This is not like, it's not helpful. So I wrote Wild World sort of as an alternate narrative. Like, what can we all do for each other regardless of our points of view even though I think our points of view are really important and they matter and we need to like find a better way forward um, the way we can do that is by humanizing each other in the midst of uh, sort of a dehumanizing culture and so uh, that's a song I'm really proud of and uh, for me it was as it, uh, it was a brave song to release um, just to because it's you know it's a, it's a it's a weird time and as a musician it's easy to to sort of be fearful and not say anything that might be controversial but for me it was like hey everybody let's take care of each other better thank you this is a song i wrote about the state of things how bizarre they might be. If you don't like this song, I don't care. But I think you will. tell the truth but the truth seems to change every Tuesday when I watch the news man it just gives me the blues no one listens just on a mission to hear their own voice it's a wild world we're all trying to find our place in it it's a wild world and no one seems 
to understand it. It's a wild world, but there ain't no way I'm gonna quit it. Love is all I've got to give away. Some folks ain't got a dollar to their name. Others got their own jet planes. We all have the same blood running through our veins. Whether or not you pray, black or white, straight or gay, you still deserve the love of your neighbor. It's a wild world, we're all trying to find our place in it. It's a wild world and no one seems to understand it. It's a wild world, but there ain't no way I'm gonna quit it. Love is all I've got to give away. Try a little tenderness, maybe some benefit of the doubt. Another person's point of view, try to listen and not to shout. Hold your opinions loosely, maybe you're not always right. Show a little mercy and hold on to love real. It's a wild world, we're all trying to find our place in it. It's a wild world and no one seems to understand it. It's a wild world, but there ain't no way I'm gonna quit it. Love is all I've got to give away. Love is all we've got to give away. Thank you. I know when a song is finished, when I sing it through and I'm completely satisfied with it. Uh, but even then, sometimes you go back and go, oh, I was just satisfied in the moment. I got to go back and fix this line or tweak this verse or uh, maybe change this melody. In a way, songs are never finished. I and mean, that's like the great thing about anything creative is that you could continue to, to work on it and perfect it to the point of where you hate it and I think for me when I the point that I know it's finished in, in the sense that it's ready to record or ready to play live is that like I'm, I love it and I feel like it's finished um, and then inevitably you, know, you record a record record a song put it out on a record and then you start playing it live differently and you go oh man we, maybe we should have done that but the recording is a moment in time it's not a it's not a piece of perfection you know and those songs take on new life as they sort of find an audience. Uh, and then there's other songs you think are amazing. You're like, people are gonna love this song. And then you put the record out and like, no one cares about that song. And you go, well, I was wrong about that one. Thank you very much. There's a, there's a lot of things I love about music. Um, the thing I love the most about it is that whether you came here by yourself or with a group of 20 people, you're still basically in a room full of strangers to come and hear music together. And I think that's amazing. And so, we consider it a great honor to get to travel around, get to do what we do. And so for this tour, we thought, what could we do to say thank you, a small token of thanks to these different communities and cities that have welcomed us in. And so we came up with a very simple idea. It's called the Love Your Neighbors campaign, because we're the neighbors, play on words, we're funny. 20% um, of all of our uh, uh, t-shirt sales every night go to a local charity that's doing good work of loving the neighbors uh, here. So tonight we're working with, um, yeah. Um, we're working with the uh, Greater Boston Food Bank and um, they provide uh, meals for folks who are desperately in need of help, seniors and at-risk kids and lots of other amazing programs. And I hope you'll uh, 
check that out. If you don't know what they're up to, you can find them online, and et cetera, or you can pick up a T-shirt and, and, and join in that cause. And if at the end of the night you get over there and you're like, man, I'm not going to wait in that line. It's too long. Then you, you probably need to work on your patience. I'm just kidding. Uh, this is a song from the new record, uh, a song that I wrote with, uh, with Nathan and, and Rich here. A song about memories and lost love and all that good stuff. It goes like this. South of Baltimore Wondering if you watch the ships rolling Will you stay up till the dawn's early light Do you ever wonder how I've been Postcard memories only paint a picture of How you are in one place at a time I need you now more than ever before I'm waiting for you to come back home It don't matter where you go when you're young you're trying to outrun the past Like a ghost you travel through my dreams I only see you through the looking glass Postcard memories only paint a picture How you are in one place at a time I need you now more than ever before I'm waiting for you to come back home Forget most of what I learned as the earth moves from morning to night. One thing I know, I'll always remember your eyes shining in the morning light. Thought I saw you out there dancing on the ocean. Thought I heard. I want to be wherever you are I'm waiting for you to come back home I need you now more than ever before I'm waiting for you to come back home I think that there's like a fine line between like a complete narrative in a song and then like a line that resonates with people. Like if, if, if someone has to pay like really deep attention to every single word in order for the rest of the song to make sense, that can be sort of exhausting for people. You know, um, Tom Petty is my favorite at just like creating phrases that, that sort of in and of themselves are like, you know, good enough 
to, to catch the listener and to like make the listener feel something and identify with something. Uh, but also, if you listen to the whole song, you may find a narrative in it. And I think for me, that's a little bit more appealing than say like writing like a a, a really detailed four or five minute murder ballad that you know uh, you kind of get lost in. It. And Springsteen, I think, is the king of doing both because he's got these like huge hooky choruses. Like you know, Glory Days is like a great example, or Dance in the Dark, some of the bigger hits, especially even Thunder Road. Like, there's this narrative of uh, you know, you and me, baby, we're gonna like get out of this place and go find the you know the promised land. And uh, but there's like individual lines in there, you know, uh, that just capture the moment. You don't have to know the whole song, but you love that that particular moment. And so I think for me, it's it's all about trying to do both at the same time but not getting lost in the like detail of a perfect narrative but trying to like and in some ways like writing a song is like throwing a, a photograph down on the table over and over again and hoping that the photographs like tell some sort of broader narrative it's always fun traveling you get to meet different folks from back home met a couple Tennesseans earlier tonight not from there, but you still like it, feel free to sing along or sing along with your home state. Just kind of sing along quietly. <laughs> Everybody's home matters. Mine just happens to be Tennessee. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's the, it's the best home. But I'm sure yours is pretty great too.
What Would I Do Without You almost didn't like exist on record. It was a song I wrote um, that I loved and the band and the producers sort of felt neutral about. And I just followed my gut and said, I really want to put this song on the record. It's an important song to me about sort of marriage, like, you know, seven, eight years in when you've definitely been through hard things. And so looking around and uh, kind of realizing that someone has taken good care of you when you didn't necessarily deserve it. And uh, that's probably my favorite song I've ever written. And uh, put it out, didn't think anyone would really notice it, doesn't even have a chorus, and it's become our most sort of popular song. And uh, yeah, I just it's one of those ones, I don't even remember how I wrote it, but I, I go back and I, I wouldn't change a thing about this song. Sometimes I wake up with the sadness of the day feels like madness. So oh, what would I do without you? When colors turn to shades of gray with the weight of the world at the end of the day. Oh, what would I do without you? A decade goes by without war. There's still a kindness in your eyes Amidst the questions and worries A peace of mind always takes me by surprise Like I'm walking with eyes as blind as a man without a lantern in a coal mine. What would I do without you? My imagination gets the best of me, and I'm trying to hide lost at sea. Oh, what would I do without you? The difference between what I've said and done. You're still standing by my side A guilty soul and a worried mind I would never make it if I'm on my own You are patient, I'm always on time Oh, what would I do without you? You got your sunshine, I got rain clouds You got hope, and I got my doubts Oh, what would I do without you? Oh, what would I do without you? Morning song is just a song about making sweet love to your, to your, for me to my wife, um, and it's a song about uh, kind of just yeah being in the moment there, and uh, it's not really much else to say about it. It's just a, it's a, it's a song about showing the person you love how much you love them with your body and your hands and your and your mouth. 
meant with your words, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> See if that makes makes it through. <laughs> a year ago, we were playing somewhere, and I did an interview with the local paper. The guy asked me this question. He said, what's the biggest compliment you've ever been paid about your music? Which in and of itself is a compliment because it assumes other compliments have been made. So I, I appreciated that one. Kind of got me going a little bit. And I remember that we were at a festival somewhere in Texas. And uh, at this festival, after we, we played in the middle of the day, and I can't remember who was headlining, but I was out in the crowd watching the band play that was headlining. And, trying to be kind of in, incognito, wearing a golf hat and shorts and flip-flops, you know. This guy found me and he's like, Drew Holcomb. I was like, yes, that's me, how you doing? And he had on a Drew Holcomb the Neighbors t-shirt and he was holding about a four or five week old baby. And he said, uh, man, I just, I, I saw you, I wanted to come tell you something that's sort of important to me. He said, uh, my wife and I, we conceived this young man listening to your latest record. <laughs> Biggest compliment I've ever been paid. <laughs> In that moment, just for a second, I was basically Marvin Gaye. <laughs> I'm gonna dedicate this song to him, wherever he may be. Till the ocean stops Let's dance like drunk sailors Like angels and jailbirds Laugh just like children And tremble like mountains Maybe one more piece of work Sing me one more song your roses blue I want to shake your foundations I want to send you to the moon Let's dance like an earthquake Listen to the light break Feel my heart beating It's you that I
Some people talk to angels Some people talk to themselves I don't know who you're talking to Everything you say makes me want you You are a novel in a sea of magazines you make me nervous, you make my heart beat You are red and I see you black and white You are a fire, you are dynamite Whoa. Fun? Yeah, what do you do for fun? Oh man, I'm like a I'm a I'm a little bit of a golf addict, which is sort of super unrock star of me, but uh, it's something about being outside that, that's really good. I mean we, we love to go out on a pontoon boat with our kids from like four o'clock to sunset and just, you know, drink some beers and the kids don't drink the beers, just my wife and I. And then, you know, eat and swim and jump off the, the you know, the, there's like a big rock wall at this lake where we go on the pontoon boat. And that's something we do every week once the weather gets good. That's like our family time. And there's music there, too. But it's mostly Disney at this point with the little kids um, trying to, like, get some Willie Nelson and, and Bob Dylan in there, too. But my daughter's in charge of the radio right now. So it's a lot of trolls and Tarzan and sing. So... Friday night with us, Boston. As I expected, you've been amazing. We'll leave here with full hearts. We'll drive to Baltimore, see if they can hang with y'all. I doubt it. Ten years dancing to the music. Eight years dancing with the girl I love Cynics hearts and critics plunder Take something beautiful and make it feel small Even when the rain pours down Even when the light seems like it's faded
stone But I still love the sound of laughter The sound of hope keeping us alive Even when the rain pours down Even when the light seems like it's faded Even when your heart aches, feels like it's gonna break It's when you sing out Here we go. My favorite story about Here We Go is we got to open for Don Henley, and he comes up to me, which I didn't think we were going to get to meet him because he's an eagle. Uh, and uh, he walks up to me. We're setting up on stage, and he kind of sneaks on stage after their sound check, and he comes up to me and goes, hey, I'm Don. And I was like, oh, Don, Drew, nice to meet you. And he's like, I really love that Here We Go song and that, uh, that banana video you made about it. That's good stuff. Hope you all have a great show. I'm like, Don Henley has seen me in a banana suit on a music video and told me that he loves it. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this mic right here. <laughs> Thank y'all again for coming out. Give it up for the band one more time. And Joe Purdy, come on. So good. I don't know when we'll be back, but we'll be back. Can't wait to see you again. I want you to sing with us on this last song. How do you feel about that? I mean, we, we don't have to play it if you want us to. How do you feel about singing tonight, Boston? All right. like this. Repeat after me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, all right, all right. Just trying to make sense of it all tonight. Whoa, no, whoa, no. Here we go, here we Won't go. Won't be the last time. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. all right. All right. Trying to make sense of it all tonight. Whoa, no, whoa, no. Here we go, here we it go. won't be the last time. That's what I'm talking about. Like a criminal, feel like a castaway. This world keeps changing and I can't keep the pace. It's like a race, didn't know I was running. There are some things like rudders in a storm, someone to keep you warm, a friend to raise a glass, to take off your mask. Tell the truth, just be you. Oh, yeah, all right. Take 
gets a set of skin. Music, it makes you feel good, makes you feel understood. Like you're not alone, not a rolling stone. You're not the only one on the road. And you got betrayed and all the things that you still don't know at the end of the day. 